Hello, welcome to the Wednesday, December 20th, 2017 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Washington, D.C. Microsoft PowerPoint documents do offer a number of ways to trigger code execution. Now, typically we are used to that we have to click on a link in order to cause damage. And one common trick to figure out uh, where a link leads you is typically just to hover the mouse over it. Sadly, PowerPoint does have a feature that allows you to trigger code execution based on the mouse over event. So in this particular case, and Xavier just ran into a sample of uh, this particular trick, uh, you do execute code just by hovering the mouse over the link. I'm pretty sure I mentioned this technique before. It's certainly not new, but it hasn't really been seen much in actual malware so far. About a year ago, I reported about adware that came pre-installed in some low-cost Android phones was really more than adware. It was really more spyware. It collected an awful lot of app information about the user and also sort of implemented a backdoor. It became known as AdUps back then. And the difficulty here was that it came pre-installed on the phone, which made it kind of impossible to uninstall it. Well, AdUps is a back and they now changed the name a little bit. They call it now FW Upgrade Provider, which I guess is supposed to sound like a firewall, but well, it's uh, just the opposite. It again does exfiltrate user data and has the ability to install additional code on the phone. Apparently some of the standard techniques to disable it are also failing on this new version. If you do have an affected device, there isn't really much help at this point. Your best chance is to try to root the device and remove the malware that way. And talking about backdoors, Vertfence is reporting that a popular CAPTCHA plugin for WordPress has been replaced with a backdoor. What's happened here is actually a fairly common issue recently where we have well-known plugins like this that are then being purchased by a new developer that turns out to be malicious. In this particular case, well, it was actually more luck that led to this of the back door. The new company that is behind this plugin now did update it with the backdoored version, but they also misused a WordPress trademark in their plugin, which then caused WordPress to remove the plugin from the official plugin store. And in turn, that alerted WordFence to actually look at it closer. Without that trademark hiccup, probably the back door or would have not been discovered until later. The real problem for the end user here is that this was a plugin that was working quite well, that came from a reputable developer who developed a number of different plugins. And to the end user, it wasn't really obvious that all of a sudden the owner and developer of this plugin changed. Apparently about 300,000 different WordPress sites have been using this plugin. Not clear how many of them are using the latest backdoored version. And yes, uh, this particular plugin is no longer available. And recently we had a new company entering the filtered DNS market, Quad9, with their DNS server at 9.9.9.9 did start to offer their service for free and somewhat competing with Google's 8888 or services by OpenDNS and others. There's now a nice blog post comparing those different services. Now, Google doesn't claim that they are going to filter anything. They really just want to provide actually unfiltered DNS access. All the others 
are offering some form of filtered access that's supposed to filter out malicious sites. Well, uh, the short summary here of the article is that none of them really makes a significant impact when it comes to filtering. I have used in the past OpenDNS and of course uh, that allows you to customize things a bit, but uh, they looked at a number of domains that were blocked by Google's safe browsing feature and really only a very small number, like three, four of them were blocked by any of these services. Quad9 actually didn't block any of them. Well, uh, this is it for today. So thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.